All right, what is shaking, guys? My name is Luke Dancy, and it is Wednesday. We are live, and I am with you for some fun today. It is feeling fun around here. I got something in the mail just yesterday that I wanted to open, but you know what? I thought it might be more fun if I do this with you. What am I talking about? Well, in my hands, my friends, is Tarantula 2. Well, the package that has Tarantula 2 inside of it. Anyway, I haven't had a chance to open it up yet. You know, a lot of people have been asking me, Luke, do you like it? Is it good? I'm sure it is, but I don't know for a fact yet. So we're going to find this out together today. I'm going to give you my honest thoughts on this. Of course, I'm not going to have a chance to watch the instructional and all, all that, but I may uh, do a video for you a little bit later this week, giving you an idea of some of the stuff you can do with it if you haven't seen the trailer yet. Uh, also today, not only will we be opening this up and giving you my thoughts, we'll also be uh, talking about some of the fun stuff going on out in the magic world in the industry of magic. Uh, and also we'll, we will be taking your magic questions. If you have any of those two, hit me up. I'm here for you for about the next half an hour, so we'll keep it short and sweet, but we are here to have some fun and chat with you. So Tarantula 2 is here. And uh, first up, I do want to show you the trailer. If you haven't seen it yet, a lot of people have been asking me, Luke, what can you do with this thing? And now I'm going to show you exactly what you can do with it uh, in the trailer, and then we're going to get to it. We are going to open this damn thing up. We're going to talk about it, and I'm going to answer your questions all about it. I do see some people in our YouTube channel right now that are saying they have it. Some uh, have said that they love it. Some have been saying that the teaching is great, and it's going to be a lot of fun to hear not only my thoughts, but also yours too. So if you have more thoughts, share them right now. Type them in the comments section. Let's let everybody know all about what is going on with Tarantula 2. Uh, again, this is the trailer coming up right now, and then I will open this up live with you and we'll be checking it out together, all right? So have a look at it, and uh, we'll get down to it in just a sec. All right, welcome, guys. Let's kick back and relax and have some fun for the next little bit. It is Wednesday. It is good. It is Tarantula 2 Day. Miguel Masica and welcome to my studio. It's moving Whoa. and one card pops oh. out. This project has been under development for the past seven years. I'm very excited and proud to share it with you. That is a look at exactly what goes down with Tarantula 2. A lot of cool things you can do with it. Uh, very visual stuff. You can do this stuff not only uh, in a controlled situation, but you did see a Yegal out in the trailer doing this out in the streets, out in broad daylight. So uh, we are going to talk all about that. This, again, is the package. If you're just joining me, this is something that just arrived in the mail yesterday. This is Tarantula 2. Got to me from the good folks here at Murphy's. You know, I'm on the Murphy's Magic team. Send it all the way from California out here to Las Vegas where I am. It was a tough wait, but it is here. And let's open this damn thing up now. Um, I'm going to put this over here. I do have the other cam set up today. Let's call this the unboxing cam. All right, so what is up, guys? We are here, and uh, I'm going to show you exactly 
what's going on. So enough chit chat, right? Or should we? I don't know. I don't know. What do you think? I'm going to come back to me. What do you think? Should I, should I open this up now or should we, should we chit chat or what do you want to do? You tell me. What are we doing? Tell me what we're doing right now. Give this a thumbs up if you want me to open this up right now. Push the uh, like button right now on YouTube if you want me to open this up. Give it a thumbs up and if we get enough thumbs up, we're up to 20 right now. If we get this up to 50, we'll, we'll, do, we'll open it up right now. So give me up to 50 thumbs ups right now. Uh, give it a thumbs up and we will open this up right about now. So do it to it. There's 29. We're getting up there. All right. All you got to do is press that button and we'll do it. Get it up there. There's 40. All right. Let's get up there. I know you guys can do it. Come on. Here we go. Right about now. We are almost up there. 47. Three more to go. You guys are awesome. You can do it. Come on. Let's open the damn thing. Here we go. Someone says talk. Demeter. Oh, 58. All right. Should we push more? There's 140 people watching. Let's get it up to at least. All right. Let's keep going. Maybe 75. Let's see how far we can get it. And then we're going to open it up. All right. All right, you guys are awesome. So here we go. All right, Arif, you guys are awesome. I'm not going to tease you anymore. All right, get up to 68. That's more than fair. Love you guys. You know that. All right, so let us do it. Thanks for all that fun stuff. Uh, thumbs ups everywhere. You guys are awesome. Um, so yes, someone says talk about the history. We'll do that after I open this up, all right? So here we go, my friends. This is something I did black out my address. I don't want you coming to visit me here in the studio. Uh, unless, unless maybe one of these days, maybe you'll do an interview with me. I think I might be doing one of those soon with someone here in Las Vegas. Uh, you never know. All right, so here we go. It's like Christmas Day over here. What's up, Leo? How we doing? Here we go. Damn thing. All right. We are inside. Dun 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 dun. dun. Wait, it's empty. There's nothing in here. Are you serious? There's nothing in here. I'm <laughs> just kidding, except this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go. All right. So uh, this is taped up pretty good. Yeah, it's an unbagging. All right, Susan, you beat me to it. It's not an unboxing. Now, this is the box part. So I guess this is the unboxing part, right? Uh, so yeah, I'm going to try to... What's up, Marcus? Thanks for joining us over here. Glad you joined us here. All right. Uh, Josh Walden, I've been doing magic for about 12 years and love to review tricks, but I don't know how you got started. How to get started. All right, Josh, we'll talk about it. What's up, Max? How are we doing? All right, welcome, my friends. I'm going to open this dang thing up here. Are you allowed to? Why would I not be allowed to do this? That's the big question. You know what? I have scissors. Hold on a sec. Let's get scissors. Let's do it official. Here we go. I'm a magician. I can't even open tape. Who would have thought? All right, there we go. There we go. All right, what's up, Tiger Magician? How are we doing? First look. There is the box, my friends. There it is. Uh, this is the packing list. You don't need to see my private info, but I want to make sure there's nothing in here I need to see. Yeah, unbagging does not sound as good, does it? All right, so yeah, here it is. Tarantula 2. Let me throw away this paper. We don't need that. So this is the first impression here. Here's the box. Got the box. Nice little embossing, little gold embossing. Yegal Masika, of course, the creator. Uh, again, I will have them live with me probably in about another week or two. Um, it's going to be really cool. Of course, the back got the old famous print, the hand print there. That's his uh, little stamp there that you know that that's Yegal Masika. Um, and then we'll get into some of the details. Someone's asking about the price. Uh, I believe this is, I don't want to undersell it here. Let me look real quick. I think the price is, um, is it 75 bucks? Let me just take a look at the Murphy's Magic website. I'm going to hold the box here. Uh, let's jump to the website real quick. Uh, da, 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 da. Where is Tarantula 2? Let's see. I want to make sure I get the goods in. Tarantula, there we go. Oops, I did Taran. That's not exactly going to help us, is it? <laughs> there it is. $75 from your favorite dealer. These guys are shipping out right now. So if you want to get one, head over to your favorite dealer and ask them for Tarantula 2 right about now. All right, so anyway, back to the unboxing cam. Here we go. All right, so um, let us see here. All right, what's up, Phil the Magic Man? How are we doing? I'm gonna try to protect the integrity of this as much as I can. I see that I'm opening it from the gimmick side, and I know that we're all magicians, but there may be some people out here that are watching that, that are not magicians, so I'm gonna try to protect the integrity of the secret. So this is kind of like the Apple boxes now, you know, it kind of slides out here. What's up, London? How are we doing, Mohammed or Mohammed? Uh, slide this out for you. All right, so one of the key things that I do notice right away that I want to say about this is you can see the box has a cable connected to it here on the underside. Uh, this is a USB cable. Uh, what's up, Ireland? How are we doing, Gerard? Uh, USB cable here. The reason this is here now is because the unit is actually rechargeable. 
So you can recharge this guy now without having to buy those little batteries over and over and over again. So that is pretty cool that he's now taken that step to make it uh, rechargeable. Uh, I'm gonna take this out. Uh, I'm not gonna give you any of the details here, but on the inside of the box, if you do end up buying this, I'm, I'm gonna cover this up. Uh, there is the link to the instructions is on the inside below the gimmick. So if you do um, op open this up and look at it, make sure that you look on the inside where the gimmick was. That is where the password is to go online to learn how to use this, okay? Um, that is what you need to use to learn how to use the tarantula gimmick. Uh, I am gonna look at this real quick. I'm gonna, I'm gonna jump to the other cam real quick. I'm gonna keep this in view, uh, but I am gonna jump over to the other cam so I can uh, come back to you guys. All right, so here I am. I'm looking at the gimmick here. I'm not trying to be too shady with this, but I, I don't think it's right to just reveal the actual gimmick. Uh, I'm gonna put this in my hand, try to hold it up here the right way. So the one really cool thing is uh, the gimmick is very, very comfortable in my hand. I want to tell you that right away. Very, very comfortable in my hand. Uh, I will give you a little bit of a flash uh, of my hands right there. So, uh, of course, I know we all know what it is, but I don't think it's fair. Like, if you created something, I don't think you would want people just openly showing you what it is. You know, it's a, it's a secret. It's a gimmick. You know what I mean? Um, so I will flash it a little bit for you, um, but I'm not going to just show you what the gimmick is. I don't think that's fair. You know, as magicians, we should at least try to you know, take care of the secrets that we do have. Uh, so here we go. Again, another little flash on the inside of your hand. Um, this fits, I'm going to tell you the truth, this fits very, very well in my hand. This is really, really comfortable. Um, very form-fitting. Good Lord, this fits right in my hand. Uh, this is based on the old gimmick um, of the Sonata gimmick, uh, but it's, of course, just the one, this is, just goes on to one finger. I'll put it that way, all right? Uh, so the size on this feels really good. Someone's asking what's the difference from the first one. Uh, I'll give you the list of what the, the new things are with Tarantula 2. I will tell you that one of the big advantages is this does fit better. This feels a lot better in my hand than the original one did, and that's the truth. Uh, this feels much more form-fitting to my hand and my finger. Um, what about smaller hands like a lady? Yeah, this should, I mean, you should be fine. Like, the truth is this can dig into your finger. Basically what you want to do is you want to get this down into where your... Uh, uh, your finger goes to the part here. Uh, push it all the way down. So it doesn't matter if you have a long finger or a short finger. I still have about uh, the, the top part of my finger here. I still have that much over the gimmick. So the gimmick is here uh, up on the inside of my finger there. So there we go. Uh, Mark says he has bony fingers and it fits him fine. Thank you, Mark. I appreciate that. Uh, also, guys, um, I haven't, because I did literally just open this, some of you guys out there have had a chance to play with this already. If you have, tell me what the teaching's like. That's something I haven't had a chance to look at myself, but it is Yegon Masika. I'm sure it is fine, but if you have checked this out already, please tell me right now how the teaching is. Did you like it? Um, and is it helpful? That's something I think we should all try to find out together. Uh, how about a quick demonstration? Unfortunately, Wayne, I'm not going to be able to do a quick demonstration. I did say that I'll probably do a video uh, with this going forward. Um, but, you know, I just opened this up, and that's something I do want to address, is that um, when you have things like this, this is 75 bucks for a gimmick, a brand new device that you can use and work with and do miracles with. Uh, don't just try to start playing with it. And I think that's very important to think about, um, is that when you do uh, have something like this, don't just start looking at it and playing with it. This is a mechanical device that can break if you don't handle it the right way. So I do want to say that um, up front. This is not something you should just start picking up and playing with. Um, teaching uh, lacks how to engage the motor. Stop it. I keep losing the thread. Okay, Dwight. Well, I'll have to check out the teaching myself. I'm pretty sure, you know, Ye Gall goes into a lot of details with his stuff. So that's, that's a bit of a surprise. Um, real power. The teaching is 30 minutes and teaches you in full everything you need. All right. Well, so that's good to hear. Someone's saying... Um, uh, is it hands-free? Uh, that's what we were told. So the, the rest of you guys out there too, what did he mean by the hands-free stuff? Again, I did just open this up. I have not had a chance to look at this yet. So if you guys have more information than I do, please, let's all work on this together. Um, you know, we've got about another 20 minutes to talk about this. So um, it is. So Real Power is saying it is hands-free. What does that mean specifically for the people that are asking? Uh, unfortunately, I can't answer that question at this moment because I haven't had a chance to watch the instructional, which again is on the inside of the box. Um, uh, you can perform it hands-free. It means you can put it in your pocket and perform it hands-free. Okay, so basically what he's saying is you can, dis you can basically dislodge the, the thread and have the device on a table or something and you can use the thread 
and use it that way. So it's basically as a reel, like a regular invisible thread reel, okay? Uh, the teaching was actually helpful. This one comes from Cena and necessary, of course. He even told us what we can do if we break the thread or lose it in the device, but further instructions were missing. Okay, so basically what, what people are saying is if you do lose the thread, um, you're kind of lacking info on how to retrieve it, okay? Um, but I'm gonna assume, and I'm not gonna open up the device, but I'm gonna assume that it's pretty easy to open it up to, to put more thread on this. That would be a guess, so that when you do have to do that, you can open it up very easily to retrieve the thread. Is that true? Uh, I'm gonna say that is true. Uh, a remote would be awesome. Yeah, maybe a future one uh, with remote. Uh, Real Power does say, he does teach you how to save, how to save your thread, okay. Um, uh, how long is the guarantee for tarantula? I'm not sure. That's something I'll have to look at. Um, as far as I know, this is threaded already. Uh, Bastion's asking, uh, is the thread included? As far as I know, this is threaded and ready to go. Like I said before, I'm not about to just start playing with this uh, in front of you guys because the chances are I'll break it. You know, this is a, a device that I don't think we should just be playing with as a toy um, because it's not. Marcus says it's a 90 day guarantee. I'm not sure about that. Uh, Actually, Real Power is agreeing, saying three months. So there's a three-month guarantee. All right. Um, uh, apparently, stronger thread. Do you know if that's true? I've heard it is. I've heard that it is. Um, I haven't, again, I haven't had a chance to open this. This just came in the mail yesterday, truthfully, guys. And I haven't even opened it until you guys did this with me today. So um, I'm not exactly sure all the details, but I did want to open it up and give you my first initial thoughts. Uh, I probably will do a follow-up video sometime later this week. Um, kind of showing you some stuff you can do with it and give you a little bit more detail on uh, the teaching and all that other fun stuff, okay? So uh, I would definitely uh, expect that. Actually, if we can get this up to uh, 100 likes, give it another 22 likes, I'll do a video this week and I will tell you more of these answers. Uh, so if you want me to do that, let's get it up to 100 likes right now. Uh, if you haven't hit that thumbs up button, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and I will do that this week if that's what you want me to do. Show me some love and I'll give you some love in return, all right? Um, yes, there you go. So uh, Real Power says he got his last Friday. All right, that is cool, that is cool. Uh, can you tease a new product? Uh, this is what we're talking about today pretty much. Uh, this is a, uh, you know, Tarantula 2 day. Uh, this again is what we're talking about, Tarantula 2 from Diego Masica. And we did the live, I don't know if I'd call it an unboxing, someone called me out on that before. It's more of like an unbagging because this had come in a bag. But I am loving it so far. Again, my initial thoughts are, the way that this feels in my hand feels very, very good, and it feels very sturdy. Uh, again, if people are always curious, oh, I won't people see it, keep in mind that when you do this stuff, it's like a thumb tip, right? You're not supposed to just show people what it is. You know, you use subtleties to show your hands empty. That's what you're doing with this device too. For instance, you know, I could do these type of movements here, and it's not something that, if you're not drawing attention to it, no one else is gonna be really paying attention either, all right? So those are just a couple things to think about. Uh, how's the color? The color looks good. Again, I'll flash my hands here. Uh, blends in pretty well with my hands. Um, yeah, I'm a pretty white dude, so <laughs> there you go. Uh, but yeah, you can see the device there hidden in my hand. Um, but again, we're magicians, we're looking for something. If you're just someone um, that's just watching some perform stuff, they're never gonna think you have this really cool James Bond device hidden in your hands. Uh, so yeah, does it come with a case? It does not, but honestly, I don't think you need one because this thing feels very, very sturdy. Um, you just throw it in your pocket and you're good to go. So I don't think you need a case for this, to be honest with you. Just throw it in your pocket. Um, it's good, it's quality good, like the structure materials. Yeah, it's very good quality. You can hear that, it's just ve very, very sturdy. Very sturdy, uh, for sure. Um, we won't let it reach to India. You know what, this is available now from Magic Dealers Worldwide. Stock is limited, I'm not gonna lie to you. Uh, because this has been something people have been waiting for for a long time. There were a lot of back orders. So they were trying to fulfill those. But these will be shipping out to Magic Dealers worldwide. Uh, so if you do want to get your hands on one, uh, now is the time to do it. Um, again, they may be on back order, but this is the time to jump in and to try to pick yours up. All right. Uh, so there you go. Someone's asking, what if you are ethnic? What if you're black? Here's the truth. Uh, and people have talked about this for ages when it comes to things like the thumb tip. Um, if you use this in a way that's not totally obvious of what you're doing. And I'm gonna put the gimmick down for a second because I'm gonna pick up something else and we'll pretend like this is the gimmick, okay? Um, this is the gimmick, it's hidden in my hand. If you're not doing things like this, like opening up your hand, and you're not going like this, if you're just casually doing something, you can hide and palm pretty much anything without people noticing. Does this need to be flesh colored, the Tarantula 2 gimmick? No, 
Is it helpful? Sure. But it doesn't need to be because you're never just going to go to people, look at me. I don't have anything in my hands. Look, I have nothing in my hands. Like, as magicians, we feel like because we've got something kind of like hidden in our hand that we need to hide it, protect it. Um, but the truth is, I think that we're overthinking things sometimes. It is nice to have it blend in with the color, uh, but I definitely don't think that it's something that you need to match exactly your skin tone. And I know that if you're ethnic, if you're um, you know someone that's not of color, to match this, that it might be you might be a little bit you know frustrated or a little bit nervous, but. Uh, the truth is, think of it like something that is a device that's supposed to be hidden in your hand anyway. Um, because honestly, if, if you're just showing the backside of your hand, that's not going to bleed through. You're not going to see it. Um, and it's not very often that your hands are going to be wide open when you're doing something like this. Your hands are probably going to be like this. And if your hand is like this, which is typically the way that your hand is during most of the performances, like this. You can't see the inside of my hand at all. You can't see the gimmick in there at all. It's hidden. Um, there you go. So. Those are my initial thoughts. I don't want to ramble too much. I do want to give you some of the rundown and some of the new things with Tarantula 2. A couple new points. Number one, uh, you do receive a USB cable. This is now totally rechargeable. So if you are looking for uh, an improvement there, that is one of the biggest ones. Uh, it's because, you know, with the old Tarantula, you used to have to buy those little batteries. Keep buying them. Buy little packs of them. And it, it got old after a while, I'm sure, for people. Uh, number two, haven't had a chance to play with it. But from what the description says, the motor is now totally silent on this. So... You know, sometimes in the past, some of the devices that have come out, smoke devices or even things like this, there's that little humming noise with motors and you are always told, well, don't perform it in a quiet spot. This is supposed to be totally silent. And I have a couple of people that have already picked it up. Is that true? And I will give, give you, of course, my thoughts on that uh, as we go forward. But I've heard this is totally silent now, which is a big improvement as well. Um, you can also lock in, unlock this, the thread. You can lock it and unlock it, uh, which is also very, very helpful. Uh, with something like this. So those are a few thoughts. And to me, one of the biggest improvements too is just the way this feels in my hand. It feels solid. It feels good. It doesn't feel like it's going to go anywhere. It doesn't feel like it's cheaply made because it wasn't. Um, and this is something I honestly believe that when you put this into your magic arsenal, this is something you're not going to only leave home without. This is too cool. It's like a James Bond device. This is super cool uh, and super fun. And I can't wait to play with it after this. Uh, Real Power does say, very important, the batteries give constant energy, but normal batteries lose energy and gives bad performance. All right. Uh, so there you go. All right. Uh, totally silent. Dwight is confirming that this is a totally silent motor now, which is great. Huge improvement there too. And just the quality feels, well, great. You know, Yegal Masika is known for very, very good stuff. Um, and this does not let me down at all. So there you go. Um, you guys are also asking about Venom. Uh, I don't have it. So I can't compare it, but what I can tell you is, from what I know, that one is not mechanical. It does not work with a motorized motor. Uh, very kind of um, older ITR. You get a couple of them. You can do some fun stuff, but this one's totally motorized. Lets you do a lot of things where you don't have to move around to do stuff. Um, and if you if you saw the trailer earlier, you could do the thing where you borrow a ring, you float it around, and it drops back on someone's hand. That is sick. That is sick, sick stuff. And I think that is one of the reasons why um, this is going to sell so well. Because if you can do that. You're totally clean after that. The girl holds up her hand, the, the ring is spinning, and it goes back on her finger, and you can walk away. That's real power. So there you go. All right. Uh, what's the difference between the spider pin and that? Good question. Spider pin, this is not it. Spider pin <laughs> is something that, of course, as a pin, you have to have a place to put it. Yes. Excuse me. Yes, it is hidden. Camouflage is a pin, but that means you have to put the pin somewhere. So, if you're not someone that wears a jacket or something, where are you going to put this to where you can get the thread out of it? And that's a serious thing you need to think about. This also allows you to do things to where, uh, with the spider pin, where you want to do bigger levitations where you can literally walk away from something, right? Um, the way that it's set up is you can literally have something float down to the ground. You can walk back and you can have it float back up. More bigger levitations. The Tarantula 2 is self-contained. It is something that you want to do mainly just in front of you and around you. Uh, you can do other cool things. I know uh, Yego Masika did the thing in the trailer with the lifesaver. Uh, you can also do the thing where you cause money on the table to slide across the table into your hands. That's one of my favorite things to do with it, too. So there you go. Uh, yeah, and Real Power does agree. Spider P, you can go far away if you have it. Yes. Uh, yes. Uh, someone does say it sucks using two reels for one trick. Yeah, we're talking about the other uh, release that just came out. So there you go, my friends. Uh, my honest thoughts, or, uh, you know, my honest upfront thoughts after opening this from the package. Love it. Uh, not surprised that I love it. Yegal Masika does not let people down. This took only seven years <laughs> to get from his mind 
to being in my hands. So there you go. It takes a while to get this stuff done. Um, and, and for good reason, this can't be an easy process to, to make at all. Um, want to make sure what's up, Bob Miller. I see you out there over on, uh, over on our Facebook page. Uh, some other friends, uh, will this replace the thread reel and other thread devices? Uh, I, w I don't know if this is going to replace them. This definitely feels like it has a place that <sighs> I think that when you play with this, you will want to wear this and use it. Um, I do think that as magic evolves, and this one comes in from uh, Magni Lee over on Facebook, um, as we evolve as magicians, so do our tools and the accessories that we use to perform with. Um, I definitely feel like the old reels, you know, you'd have to pin it in your shirt, uh, and things like that. Maybe this will replace that eventually because this, this, you just put it in your hand and you kind of wear it and it just goes with you. That is much more practical. Depends on what your needs are with thread. We'll put it that way too. This is something definitely more for on the fly. If you're a walk around worker, street magician, this is something you definitely want to just have in your pocket ready to go. Um, this is kick ass <laughs> for sure. Uh, so those are a few thoughts. Uh, about good old tarantula too. So back over to YouTube real quick, and then I'm gonna start to wrap this up. Uh, yes, this is a black label product. So this is something we're very proud to have under the black label umbrella of products. Hundred uh, percent. Yeah. So, uh, and the, is the is it invisible? Uh, the thread is, of course, as you can see in the trailer. Yegal was doing this out in the open in daylight around people in a very crowded spot. Um, the device itself, if you just joined us, uh, it's hidden in my hand right now. It's kind of like a thumb tip. You do kind of subtleties to hide it hide it. Uh, but that is how it looks right there. So there you go. Uh, a couple thoughts there when it comes to the invisibility of the device. Uh, again, if you are going to buy this, do me a favor. Do all of us a favor. Don't just pick it up and start to play with it. You're probably going to break it. It doesn't mean it's a cheap device, but what it does mean is when you buy something that's $75, think of this as an investment. You don't want to just piss away your investment. So I know you're excited. I am. I wish I was just sitting here now and playing with it, but I don't want to break it. Uh, so definitely take a, take a step back, look at it, admire it, because this is a really cool looking thing. Uh, and then watch the instructions, learn what to do with it, learn how to use it, and then go out and start crushing people with it. All right? Do yourself a favor. Otherwise, you're going to be co contacting your dealer, asking for another one. Chances are they're not going to have any more for a little while, and you're going to be pissed off because you can't use it. doesn't mean it's a cheap device. It means you were in a rush. Don't be in a rush. Take the time to learn how to use it right, and then you can go out, uh, and then you can you know, start using it and playing with it. All right? Um, uh, can I pull the thread now? Honestly, I don't even know where the thread's coming out of this guy. Um, is it, is it this? Let me, hold on a sec. I, I'll, I'll play. I think it's under this, but I, again, I'm not sure. And I do not want to break this. All right. I think that's it. So, all right. So this is now officially coming out of the device. Thread is in the air. There you go. Invisible as can be. Um, I want to give a couple quick thoughts on Thread Magic too, because I did just do this and it looks great on camera. Wow! All right, um, a couple thoughts on Thread Magic real quick, and then I'm going to get out of here. Uh, a lot of people are concerned about light in front of them, and then that's what they're worried about. Um, I usually have my headphones here. I do not this time. Uh, one important thought is when it comes to magic with thread, is it's not about the light in front of you that you need to be worried about. It's the light behind you. I've said this before. Uh, but think about it like, um, I, I call this the naked zone. So if you have thread out and you go sideways, the light that's behind you is what bounces off the thread and makes it visible. So keep that in mind that you should always try to be as much as possible in behind the thread so it's in front of you and try to keep it from uh, any light behind you. Now you can do this out in public with people all around you, but I would not do it when there's light behind you, a lot of uh, ambient light behind you, because then there is something for that light to bounce off of, which is the thread. Um, ben says he just got Tarantula 2 today and he's amazed. I am too. I just, I just showed you guys the thread. I'll do it again. Sick. I mean, I, I'm having trouble. I didn't even know it was hooked up. That's how, there you go again. There's the thread in between my hands right there. So there you go. Uh, that is a, a little peek there at the thread. And again, I'm not going to do too much with this because I literally just opened this when we kicked this show off here about 20 minutes ago. So uh, there you go, a little look at the thread. Again, I will do a video later this week. You guys got me up to the number of likes, uh, almost actually. So we need six more. If you guys want me to do a video this week, give me six more likes and we'll do it this week. All right, if not, we'll do it next week. So you guys let me know, all right? I'll do it this week, don't worry. <laughs> uh, can I buy the one you have? No, I want this, this is mine. <laughs> nice try though, nice try. Uh, 
There you go. Um, don't play more with it, you gotta charge it. All right, so there you go. You do have to charge it before you use it. And again, I would know that if I read the instructions, which I will do after this is over, I promise. All right, um, yes. So uh, yeah, any other questions real quick about this? I'm gonna look at Facebook one more time. I think we're gonna wrap this up. I did wanna keep it short because this is pretty much focused just on Tarantula 2. Um, yes, so how did you like the, uh, what photo was it talking about here, Aaron Payne, what are talking about? Uh, so there we go. Uh, any other questions about Tarantula 2? Any other magic stuff you guys are curious about? If not, uh, I will give this another five minutes. We'll go till 35 uh, after the hour, and then we'll wrap this up. So 105 likes. We are doing this this week. You guys will get a video this week from me showing you a video over on YouTube. You'll be sh I'll be showing you a video of some stuff you can do with Tarantula 2. I'll be talking more about the instructions and all the other details that you guys wanted to know. I didn't have all the details because, well, I haven't had a chance to look at this yet. Most dealers don't even have these in their hands yet. So there you go. All right. Uh, when will you do an Instagram Live? What time? You know what, Andrew might do one after this for about 20 minutes. So I'll wrap this up and go right over to um, Instagram Live. So if you guys want to talk to me over there, I'll be live for about 20 minutes. So we'll go to 1 o'clock. Four minutes left here, and then I will go over to Instagram Live. So if you guys haven't yet, make sure to check us out over there at Murphy's Magic. I will be over there live, and we post videos. And we're doing a 50,000 follower giveaway this week. Probably doing it tomorrow or Friday, but we just hit 50,000 followers on Instagram and we're gonna do a giveaway. So stay tuned to find out what that is very, very soon. Stoked all about that, all right? Could you lift a cap with it? Uh, you mean like a cap from a bottle? Yes, if, you, if that's what you're talking about, yes. Uh, so there you go. And I did open this up at the top. We did unbox this, we unbagged it, got it in my hands. I'm gonna check this out and tell you more about it. You guys did hook me up with enough likes to do a video this week, so I will do one for sure, telling you all about the rest of the details with Tarantula too. And again, I will have a interview very, very soon with Yegon Masika to learn more about Tarantula 2, the process and any other cool stuff he's come out with like Loops, spider Pen Pro, Electric Touch Plus, all those other fun stuff. So uh, will we have a live chat about the butterfly decks? Probably. Uh, we have had a lot of questions about the butterfly playing cards. Good question, Daniel Ricks over on Facebook. Uh, we probably will do a live chat with Andre. I did record an interview, but I have a feeling we'll do a live chat with him too. Uh, I posted that video up. Actually, if you haven't checked it out yet, thanks for the reminder there, Daniel Ricks. Uh, have a look at our YouTube channel or Facebook page. It's at the top of our uh, Facebook page right now. Check out the video of Andre performing with the butterfly playing cards on Penn and Teller. If you haven't watched it yet, see if he fooled them and how he did it if he did. I also give you some bloopers and behind the scenes stuff from Andre, uh, a recent shoot that we did with him, and it was a lot of fun. And I'm very, very excited for you guys to get your hands on the butterfly playing cards too. All right, so that's coming up very, very soon. Uh, and they, we do have uh, some marked versions of those coming. So yes, uh, there you go. Uh, a couple more thoughts here. Uh, someone's asking, is it worth the money? I think Robert, from what I've seen so far, the quality is definitely here. This is $75 for Tarantula 2. Quality feels like it's definitely here. Uh, again, I haven't had a chance to play with this yet. Um, I haven't had a chance to watch the instructional, which again, I would recommend that you guys do. If you are gonna pick this up, watch that first. Uh, I would say yes so far that it is. But again, I will post a video later this week giving you more detailed thoughts. This was just a generic unboxing. Uh, I'm not gonna do too much with this because I think it's worth the time to give you a true um, look at this after I've had a chance to learn how to use it the right way. <laughs> so there you go. Um, all right, back over here on YouTube. We got about another two minutes here and then I'm gonna wrap this up. All right, uh, the motor does not Sound at all, totally silent motor now, which is really, really cool. What's up, Greg? All right, we'll catch you later, buddy. Uh, so there we go, all right. So a lot of good questions today. I hope you guys got some good info all about Tarantula 2. Very excited to have that out now. Um, and as you guys get your hands on it, let me know what you think about it uh, and all that. Um, what is the What are the main differences between Tarantula 2 and Spider-Pin Pro? Uh, I'll, I'll go over the, those really quickly once again. Spider-Pin Pro is a pin, a real hidden in a pin. So you gotta find a place to put the pin, uh, whether it's a jacket or whatever. A little more limitations because you have to put it somewhere. Even though it is a pin and it's disguised, you still have to keep it somewhere to where you can use it. This is much more accessible, much easier to use for the walk around performer, just casual performer, uh, street performer. This is more of someone that's actually gonna be gigging it up. You can clip this on the inside of your shirt, uh, you know, over the top of your shirt or on the inside of a jacket. Um, definitely more for that with Spider-Pin Pro. This is much more for everyday use, street stuff, casual, throw this in your pocket, you're good to go at any time. So those are the big differences that I would say uh, when it comes to um, Tarantula 2 and Spider-Pin Pro. 
can you adjust tarantula for any finger? I mean, you could probably put this on any finger that you want. I'm doing it now. Um, okay. I mean, it's fitting my other fingers, but I'm not going to lie to you. Who asked that question? Ben, this feels the most comfortable on your uh, middle finger, the third finger. 100%. It just feels better there, I think, when you're performing with it, too. It just feels like that's where it should go. You don't adjust it, but you can move it to the other fingers. Um, I definitely think that's where you would want it on that third finger. Yeah. Uh, and uh, you should come to Toronto, the browser's bash. That'd be fun, Andrew. That'd be really cool. Um, da, da, da. What, do you want, what do you do if the spectator want to check your hand when you perform tarantula? Can you do... Uh, now, I'm not going to be able to do a performance. I did just open this, so unfortunately, I'm not going to do it. But you guys gave me enough likes on this video, so I will do a video later in the week um, that will show you some of the stuff you can do with it, for sure. Um, but if someone, you know, here's the thing. Like, if you're doing magic out here and stuff's happening over here and over here, I'm not sure why they would want to see your hands. Uh, but the cool thing is you can do things. You can do displays to keep, to keep them from thinking there's something in your hand. I mean, look how open this looks. I mean, there's no reason anyone should think that you're hiding something in your fingers. They can be, you can keep your fingers spread apart. Uh, you can do things like this quickly. Uh, again, as a magician, don't run when you're not being chased. It's like a thumb tip. Some people are worried about things, even though people aren't even aware that you're using it. And yes, someone said, easy, just ditch it. Yeah, I mean, it's in your hand. Uh, if someone starts to get frisky uh, in the performance, put your hands in your pocket and just go on your way. You know, and there's always going to be people trying to mess you up, you know? Jalen says, love your videos. Thank you, Jalen. Appreciate it. If you guys have any other thoughts on videos you want to see in the future, let me know. We'll be doing a lot more of this stuff. As I always tell you, we're only getting started. So, yes. And I will get back to you on the Skycap email. Real power. I haven't been ignoring you. I saw you. I've just been really busy, as you know. All right. What's up, Ben Williams? Nicholas Lawrence. Hello, guys. What is going on? Good to see you. All right. So, um, Van McGee. Hello, hello. Good to see you, sir. All right. Good to see you, too, sir. All right, so uh, Jashir says they sold a bunch of them in a week. That is really cool. All right. Well, guys, I think that's going to wrap it up. i giving you all I got with this uh, unboxing or unbagging. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, maybe I'll do more of these for you as we go forward. You let me know what you want. Post it in the comments section if you want more of these unboxings or whatever. Tell me. I'll do them for you live. Uh, if you want to see other things, I did a reaction video yesterday if you want to check that out. Uh, another video if you want to check out. Um, another recent one that's on our YouTube and Facebook page is uh, the, real, the real secrets to creating magic. So if you've ever wanted to create your own tricks just like this, find out what those real secrets are over on our YouTube channel and Facebook page. You can watch the video. I give you all the breakdowns. I've been creating magic for the last 20 years now, and I shared some real thoughts on how to do it and the best ways to do it, right? Um, so, yes. So that's about it for me. Thanks for all the good questions. Good to see some friends along the way, and I hope that you enjoyed this live look at Tarantula 2. Again, I will be posting up a video a little bit later this week showing you some things you could do with it and giving you more detailed thoughts on the teaching and the things and the specifics because I did remember some of those questions for you. And I will see you guys over on Instagram for about 20 minutes. So if you want to go there now, I will see you back over there live. Give me about two minutes and I will be there to see you over there. All right. Thank you guys for all the questions. Thanks for tuning in. If you are watching over on YouTube, make sure you subscribe. So the next time we do a live video, you guys are with us. And over on Facebook, make sure that you turn your notifications on so you don't miss us either. All right. It's that easy. All right, guys. My name is Luke Dancy. I enjoyed this. I hope you did too. We will be back again soon with more magic goodness. But that is it from me for now. I will catch you guys on the flip side. See ya.